So, James, this is all new to you now. Um, yes. So well, you're about to find out what the real gym leader is. The battle against Thiago was completely new to me as well because uh, of our issues last week. Indeed. So now, uh, now you'll see who what the real gym leader's like. They have it. Oh my god, it's an anime protagonist. Not fair. <laughs> Coming straight out of a Final Fantasy game, apparently. Yeah. So. Okay. So now you see why the why why there was such subterfuge in the in the gym. Uh, because it's a woman, of course. Yes. Uh, she, to, she did a trick, Mulan. Tricks you women. Tricks you yes. women. Yeah, Tina agrees. Can't be trusted. <laughs> Tina always agrees with uh, gender issues like this. Yeah. Well, she's black and white as well, so it checks. It completely checks out. <laughs> so yeah, uh, again. So this is what this is what we're talking about, like with like thematically consistent gyms, where like basically the yeah. gym is like in the leader's. Um, kind of, oh like, my god! That shit, that girl was her. Oh. No, couldn't, couldn't have seen that coming. Wow, that's 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 unbelievable, Jeff. So now we face face off against her. Uh -huh. Ah. Mm -hmm. So that's the uh, okay, evolved so it's form free, of uh, it's, masking. But masking had the illusion ability, so yes, it it powers down in evolve. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. That was <laughs> immarkable timing. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You could not have timed that any better, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Excellent. Uh. Apparently, Maskin's other ability is empathy. It's getting us to, pain, to share the pain. Right, okay. But, so. um, yeah, imagine having your Zorua masking as the Zoroark and being like oh no I've definitely fucked up here and then you get killed anyway because they're the same type yeah exactly and, like that 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 fantastic fantastic uh, thinking there yeah <laughs> but at the same time you're going like oh that's nice do you know what else I have I've got a dark type Pokemon yeah 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 isn't that nice isn't that well, good yeah apparently you can't kill this thing well it's because it keeps healing it up that's why and I'm like woefully on the levels <laughs> Which oh, also yeah. doesn't help matters. Mm -hmm. And me being woefully on the level is going to be a very recurring theme as part of this playthrough. <laughs> uh, I really leave all my grinding till the end of the playthrough. Lovely. Lovely. Which you'd be happy uh, to say. You'd happy to know I cut out of. So don't worry about that. Lovely. Fantastic. Cut out of those, like extra four hours of content. <laughs> Winnow Tinger. Yes. Fantastic. So. I... No idea what to expect here. This is our uh, Jack Theory Jack, evolution. Jack Theory is what, yeah. yeah. You can tell that looking at it. Mm. Uh, right, you should have gotten out of there. And. Because it'll be part fighting type. And. Yeah. Yeah. That'll. Hype jump kick. Fantastic. That was one. What was it? Um, <clears throat> Mind Fu is probably the one that I'd associate that move most with in the real games. Oh, uh, um, hip on Lee, surely. No, because I think I only really said that. I think by the time the move got introduced, it uh. you didn't really have battles against Hip on Lee. But uh, Mind Food just kind of in Gen 5 was a, such a head wreck trying to get through um, mm. and get through the victory road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and oh yeah, is, yeah. You, remember, you remember the last time we were playing? You were talking about like Spritzy should have went for like a witch doctor route for the evolution. Yeah, yeah. Well, check this out. So it looks like one of the designers on this game was was on the same wavelength as you because Ooh. this is Aromatisse's evolution. This is what form. it should. That is what it should have turned into. Absolutely. Yeah. There you have it. Absolutely. Someone was listening to you. Uh, Aromatisse makes no sense for what it looks like. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe it is a ghost fairy. Ghost fairy, okay. Yes. And again, that that is pretty dark, and that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Hence why I went for Bubal Rock there, but the poison didn't work. Yeah. Because ghosts resist poison, as you know. Yeah. Wait, what? 
Does it? I think so, yeah. Uh, that, that's part of a weird... Like, uh, <laughs> one of the matchings that I never really pay attention to. Ghost Dark and, like, like uh, fucking... Yeah, Ghost and Dark always seem to have, like, this weird crossover where, like, sure, I'll believe that Dark is weak to bug. I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah. I would say they, there could probably be room for them to cut out, like, the round type entirely and just make it the rock type. There could be room for them to get rid you know, short out and some things like mm. that if they wanted Bridget, to yeah. bring in a bring in a sound type or something like that to make it make it a bit less confusing yeah like you see the like, ground type is one of those awful ones where like it like there is a place for it but you just it, it's very hard to get like a role get like a good ground type not a kind of way like, it, like yeah it's very hard to like look at something and go, like, like again like it keeps coming with conversation but gliscor is perhaps one of the more the better like ground type move attackers but the reason it's good is because it's also flying and of its yes. ability so it's not the ground type that actually makes it good you know and um, yeah so you've got your likes of the trio i guess would be one of the only was it a pure ground type from gen one is it the only yes. one uh sand slash would be was it i i yeah. swear it was part poison sand slash no it it, it it learned poison sting but it wasn't part poison you're thinking like, of the needles. If I had I knew the needles were, but um Oh no, you're right. You're right. Um uh no, because just um Gen Gen one had far too many uh far too many poison types. And ground and, types, that's uh, because uh, but no, because uh <laughs> because psychic was as overpowered as it was Mm. That just made it worse for all of the poison types that they had. Yeah, like exactly. um, there was only one pure grass type in the whole G- Gen One. Yeah, and it was like by far the shittiest one too. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, in fairness, Tangela would have been a bollocks because of binding wrap. But apart from that, like, oh, it was slow as shit though. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, we wouldn't have got a use of it. Yeah. So they have oh, it there like, we go. yeah, like again, like it's one of those where it's one of those gyms where like because the AI was controlling it, it wasn't very good of being like mm. sneaky. But in theory, this would have been a prick to play against. Yep, yep. You know, like I don't think I think um, the battle against Getsus showed how to be a dick with um, mm. with Zoroark with the illusion ability. Um, like it, it worked fairly well to screw you over for the first turn or two yes um, exactly but but anyway you got your badge yep, fantastic that's all that matters that's exit all that stage matters. left <laughs> clever that's uh, that's, that, that's that's you that's you looking for the fucking title video that's what that is <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting a call from the professor here remember uh, our, our, yep. our, our professor bamboo who I'm just assuming is Australian yeah, oh yeah. Wait, didn't uh, wasn't there like a nuclear holocaust that we kind of wandered away from? Yeah, yeah, you're quite right. <laughs> uh, where yeah. where where are we supposed to do something about that? Uh, f- 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 details. Uh, <laughs> 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 Who's counting at this stage? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, no. um, yeah. Yes. Okay. So he, so far he says you're shit. Uh, even Leo is doing better than you. Mm. Get fucked. <laughs> to be fair like it's it's again this is one of those weird games where like the you're always like one step ahead of the rival like normally it's the other way around you know it's uh, a nice little they, I, I they do like that of, reversal because it's different uh, I know we've seen that flipped a bit like just recently with um, Sun and Moon you were the, you, you kind of took the place of the rival in yes. being better than being better than you're better you're the stronger one of the rival and mm-hmm. same again in uh sword and shield yes uh and gens five and six were terrible as far as rivals go um they were too mm. friendly yeah gen four was the last time there was a decent prick of a rival um, this is it like so it's yeah like I, again like i get that the rivals will be naturally repetitive anyway but like that is yeah. you, that's because they're making a decision not to make them actual characters, you know, kind of way. Like they are just yeah. like here's a, here's a person you face every half an hour to keep yourself fresh. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You know? But then again, you might argue that's because like, they have other characters instead to push rather than the rival. Mm. You know, 
not everyone can be the hero sort of bullshit, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's a way, to like, me, it's a wasted it's, opportunity. Can you tell me why you ran into the restaurant here to go and fight Ollie? Uh, not much. It, again, it's somewhere I didn't go, um, and it's also somewhere I think you can get an item out of, um, oh, like, right, healing, yeah. like some healing items. Uh, yeah. Remember, like we had like a coconut milk thing. Um, yep. Which is like I, again, I think that was I ended up being an evolutionary item for somebody. Uh, you do get another item in here. I don't think. It's an actual evolution item, but in a way it should be, if that makes sense, for the Pokemon that's in okay. it. Um, but yeah, this is just a, an extra thing like where, oh yeah, look, you can battle in this rest in an inn, because I realised we didn't actually go to it when we were playing through it the first time. Yeah. So. What did we, what, we caught the little mousey guy, didn't we? Um, Ratsy, yes. That was Ratsy. Mm. Uh, are we ever, are we going to see him again, I wonder? Or <laughs> no. He, uh... he, he's he's <laughs> okay. boxed. He is boxed for good. Um, he's not very good. Like he's, I think I said at the time, he's a dex filler, um, and that yeah. is very much where he'll stay. And um, because for for, ba for for a while, Bashaf is a bit like he's a bit naff, but he does come good after a while. Like he does his own section quite well. Yeah. Um, he, very he very much very much seems like the type that will be good until it falls off a cliff. And, but, and once he falls off a cliff, then he'll mm. never recover from us. This is um, it. Like he just got, he's got good bulk and like event a limited move set, but like you'll have enough with him, you know. But like there's um I, there's a lot more potential in him. I'll just say that. I'd kind of compare him to Gyarados. Like I, mm. as much as I like it, it is not good beyond. Um, it's not good beyond. I'd say the midpoint of the game after Erica, you're struggling to find a reason to keep him on because uh, he. Levels it takes ages to get him to level up, and then he mm. is suddenly a beast. Dragon Rage will basically yeah. one shot or severely hurt a lot of things in the team at that point. But by mm. the time things start to have like about 80 to 100 HP in a battle, he does not pull his weight as well as he, you'd think. I did, yeah, this is the thing. Like, but I, I suppose that's a, and, that's and, a victim and, of the typing as well, and the oh, yeah, the, the mechanics, well, yeah. So unless, like, and I know Bass Chef does have another evolution, but unless we hit that soon, I mm. would think that uh, Bass Chef don't, won't have it in him to see it through to the end. Well, Bass Chef does evolve um, in a couple of levels' time, so you will see what he's like fully evolved. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah, that will be the case. But he'd have to kind of like um, give, like, give it some oomph, like, be able to show, like, and he's way better now. Mm. If you get me. I do, I do, yeah. Um, like I said, he does, he does, he does have the again. I think what help, helps as well is that he has actually quite good stats. So it, it's balanced in a sense where like he he plays quite well, but there's only so much you can do with him. So he's kind of like he's just pigeonholed a bit, but he's just a very good option yeah. if you have a spot from in, in a team. Um, oh yeah. But then again, it's a it's a dark fighting, so you could have like worked around it either way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep, yeah, I get you. Uh, I I didn't think we'd see this guy again after the beach. After we finished <laughs> the beach. Yeah. Again, I, I made the, uh, I made the mistake of having him in my team the first time I played this, and then like ended up with like three ground types. It's like fuck uh, me. <laughs> it's dreadful. But no, in the same way, I I don't think we're gonna get to see the Jack Deary thing again until like ever. I think it was kind of written in only for the for uh, for the play kind of area. Mm. Yeah. For the theatre area, and once we're out of that, then I don't think this it would have been handed off to someone else to to keep using. Mm. It's a pity too because I actually uh, quite like that Pokemon. I like the I like the design of it. I oh like yeah. the idea of it. You know, the evolve the oh evolve yeah. form. I hate though with a passion. I think it's terrible. Okay, how come that? What's so bad about it? It's just the design of it. I don't know what it is. Like I like I like Jack Deary kind of by itself as like is like oh it's like a it's a but it's a fighting bunny. So it's like Lopunny yeah, yeah. in a way. Um, yeah. But like it's just a it just kind of goes like a different route with the evolve form. I was thinking ah, oh. he went the kind of mystical route with it where like I kind of would have just evolved a lot preferred it if this is a Pokemon by itself. You know, like a single stage. Yeah. That's just yeah. my opinion. But like yeah, like it's there's a, there's tons of single stage like Pokemon in this anyway. So like. It, I suppose like it's more it's more suitable to have an evolved form with these with the typing too yeah I get you but, uh, yeah this is, could have been better in my opinion 
But like I said, it does like so most of the Pokemon do kind of make up for it in the end with like B actually being actually Loki quite good anyway. So like, mm -hmm. and to my knowledge, I don't remember even coming across a wild Jack Deary, which is really odd. Um, but I'm I just kind of put that down to like kind of not going to the wrong route to the wrong time of day or something like that. Yeah. So that's the way I did. I kind of attributed that to. So I think this is my last battle now in the in the place. Yeah. You know, just again, every any kind of opportunity to just gain levels here, because as you can see from the gym battle, I was relatively behind the pace. Yeah. Um but as you said, you're going into big plot in the next wee bit, so that's ooh, I think so anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a school kid having a pint. Um much like every good Irish pub. You know, this oh, yeah. makes you feel like home. Well, no, you can definitely tell it's not a pandemic. Yeah, <laughs> barely, exactly. remember what, barely remember what the pubs are like. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll be telling our grandkids about pubs and how strange they were. <laughs> uh, Wait, are you, are you saying that people uh, met up in person and drank, like, in a group? Yes, son. It is it's something we used to do. Now, describe coppers to your grandchild. Um, massive sex cloud. <laughs> like, just imagine this a really uh, pungent smell of vinegar, and you can get coppers, really. <laughs> like a uh, humid vinegar. And the floor is sticky. Yeah. No, everything is sticky. Everything is sticky everything in coppers. Sticky. Even the people. Oh, I don't think you've seen this guy yet. No, you see, this I was trying to trigger this in the town. That's why I kind of cut out like a few minutes of me floating around doing this. But uh, I was trying to trigger the gargoyles, and oftentimes they will just like, appear and attack you. But for whatever reason, I didn't have the tools, the means to to do it. So uh -huh. yeah, they are they are actual Pokemon, those gargoyles. And if you trigger one, they it'll attack you, and you can catch it. Um. Oh, I I would have pushed for us to get that. It would have been nice. Ooh, it's it's a pure rock type. <laughs> A pure rock type, okay. Yeah, I think okay. it's pure rock, yeah. And I don't think it does much really. Like I think I think it has a petrify ability and that's about it. So yeah, this is me floating around town. Yeah. Um, is that you trying wide. to trigger uh is that you trying to trigger the gargoyles? Uh no, this is me stuck them on, on like fucking items as well. So yeah. it's like Yeah. Is it let me press on ahead here. So rather than having all this in, so this is me ready to go here yep. for a, for an next party adventure. Decisive. Yes. This is now me trying to trigger the gargoyles. Right, so okay. Just me trying to like, yeah, you can see him. badger it. Like, um, like, I think this is me vaguely trying to remember that like, I think they uh, will sometimes just appear or reappear on the roofs and that's how you get them that way. But either way, it doesn't matter. So, here's oh, Theo. Here's Theo again. Yeah, it's time for another Theo battle. Oh, look, he has a bit of confidence in himself. Yeah. Never take care of that. You see, Pokemon Uranium is trying this really, like, revolutionary thing called character development. Um, doesn't always happen in Pokemon games. It's happening in the more recent ones. But yeah, uh, Theo was one of the first beneficiaries of it in Pokemon. <laughs> mm. um, oh my god, I hate that thing. <laughs> that is such. It just, such it just seems so ugly. appropriate that our rival has this, so you can never really go away with it. And he always starts with this as well. Like this is his starter, in a sense. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, like, maybe I'm giving Theo a bad rap. Maybe I should, you know, not be such a dick. To no. <laughs> Learn to understand him. <laughs> there he is. He's dead. <laughs> there we go. In oh well. <laughs> we put him down. I think I made the point that it, like like Theo seems to have a lot of poison types in his myths, like because he has this then and he has the Chimera as well. It's like, okay, mm. two poison types in the one team is is risky. Um, and here's the shit Pokemon as well. I'm trying to think what. Uh, oh yeah, this boy. So this is the evolve form now, right? But here's the thing. Yeah. Um, I, I get to eat my words very, very quickly here 